You're wearing a white bin liner just from people. Never really get these bottom and belt things. Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. It's time for something I haven't done in a while, but it's time to bring it back. It's time to bring it back, okay? It's time for a fashion haul. Fashion, darlings, fashion. Mm, how you doing? That's what Wendy does, right? How you doing? Yeah, anyway, so. <laughs> it's time for a fashion haul. Today I'm bringing you guys some of the stuff that I've gotten from the high street over the last week or so. Um, because it's winter, we need to update our wardrobes, don't we? Do we not? Yes, we do. Let the church say amen. Amen. I've been watching a little bit too much Greenleaf. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna get right into it. The haul today is gonna be from Zara, H&M, New Look, um, and, uh, maybe a little ASOS. ASOS isn't really high street, but I shopped there and you guys have been asking me about the dresses that I got from there, so... I'm wearing one of the tops right now that I got from Zara. I'm loving it because the sleeves are shorter than the average. I don't have to be pulling them up all the time to make it look chic, to make it look fashion. <laughs> um, I'm in a really silly mood, so deal with it today, okay? Let's get into the haul. Okay, you guys, so there's a lot of stuff to go through. So bear with me while we go through all this stuff because these are just the bags. You haven't seen the boxes yet. I've also got these boxes from Opoly and I have a massive box from New Look. So, <laughs> just bear with me, okay? Okay. First things first, these are trousers from Next. They are so, so soft. Um, and I think they'd be perfect for work. They're high-waisted, so I'm gonna pop them on and show you guys what they look like. And I'm gonna pair them with this top because this top is part of the haul. It's from Zara, like I said, so. So it's got a zip and it's got two of these like little button bucket things. Oh, I think I've lost some weight, actually. Putting these on, they feel quite loose as to when I tried them on in the store. So, Jim's paying off. Never really get these button and belt things they never ever look that good on me but I thought I would give it a chance because I've always loved the style but never how it looked on me but we'll see we'll see if we can fix that okay not bad it fits I don't like when it just falls like that that's just so ugly right, okay I'm just gonna tuck it like that for now best I can do um I like the trousers they're long they go all the way to the floor they are a line I do like them but Oh, my butt looks good in them though. I don't like the bunching that it's doing around, around <laughs> I don't like that. Like, why is it, it's supposed to just stay smooth, flat lines. And I don't want to feel like I have to spread my legs, no pun intended, um, to, for it to stay flat. Like, I should be able to close my legs and then not do this. That's not attractive. Okay, let me say this, right? When I bought these trousers, I didn't plan on having this hair, so I didn't plan to be matchy-matchy like this. Um, I don't think I would wear it with this hair, just because it just looks too, yeah, too brown, too much. I also got this teddy coat from Next. It was 65 pounds. It's a very nice coat. I wouldn't wear it with this. I'd wear it with probably like some black leggings or black leather trousers or black jeans. It just looks better when it's all black and the coat stands out. It just looks good. I'm not quite sure if I want to keep the coat because I do have a lot of coats. A lot. I don't think I need to be adding more coats to my collection of coats. Okay. Um, where are we going next? Let's go to Zara. This is a dress that I got from Zara and um, I tried it on and I already put makeup on it. It is a turtleneck. It's so thick, you guys. Like, the material, it just feels so luxurious that I feel like I can just wear this and maybe some um, stockings underneath and I wouldn't have to wear a coat. That's how thick it actually is. And looking at it, it just looks plain and baggy, but I'm telling you, <laughs> let me just put it on. I know what you're thinking. Sis, it looks like you're wearing a white bin liner, just frumpy. You look like a rolled up bag of towels. You look like a rolled up quilt. You look like a sleeping bag. But just wait, just wait, just wait. 
we go into the into the closet here throw on a belt on this we are adding dimension definition classing it up instantly throw on your heels hold on hold on okay look at this can someone say boss lady coming into work can someone say I own the business? Can someone say where's my Porsche? Are you not getting rich boss lady vibes? Rich I run my own business empire vibe. Are you not getting can I speak to the manager vibes? Bitch I am the manager. <laughs> I'm silly, I'm feeling silly. I, I warned you, I warned you I was feeling silly, okay? But yes, look at that. Look, look, look at how the belt just, <laughs> What? What kind of fashion YouTuber would I be if I don't show you guys? The grey. Look at the grey. They had it in black as well, but black is just... Black is too common. Everybody has black. I'm tired of black. Okay. Black is classic, but it's too much. Ah! What have I done? When did I pull this? There's a little pull on the dress. Oh my god. But that's easily restored. Just pull. By the way, a little tip, if you've ever pulled any wool on a dress or jumper or anything, just grab the two edges and just pull it in and look. See? Good as new. Ta-da! You have to pull it in so you can see your waist a little bit. Otherwise, you'll just be out here looking a little frumpy. But what you can do if you want to get yourself some more waist and you don't want to wear a belt, you can get a seamstress to sew on the two sides for you, get rid of some material so that it looks like this and you've got a little more body going on there. If you had a bow or a brooch or something, it would look quite cute. But yeah, it's giving booty though. It's giving, <laughs> hey, hey booty. Can you see that? Can you... Hey booty, you out here, you you good? I know, I see you out there. The squats are doing you good, huh? yes. But you know what I love about this as well? You can go from work to after work drinks. It's very sophisticated, but very sexy at the same time. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, next, what are we on to? Oh, I also got these heels from Zara as well. How much were these? These were 30 pounds. The dresses were actually 30 pounds as well. And I'm not usually a big fan of Zara, but when they do get it right, they get it really right. Next up, you guys, I got some sets from Opoly, some cords for winter. Now, this is a skirt and um, a top jumper kind of thing. And everyone has been asking me about the cord set that I had when I did my head scarf tutorial video. Um, this is from Opoly as well. Okay, so this is the cord, you guys. I mean, how warm it's meant to keep you realistically um, with a midriff out and stuff, um, I'm not entirely sure. Next up is this leather look dress from ASOS, which makes me look like I'm in the matrix if I don't button it and flap behind can you not see me looking like Keanu in the matrix if I just hey 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 I'm hanging out with my African friends a bit too much so I'm gonna button it all up although it really does look good with a skirt underneath I might try a little something you know like put a belt here and wear it as like a it's, it's looking like a little something if this had pockets this would be like a really nice dress coat kind of thing this is why we need to be able to sew see it here see this dress right here this was not part of the dress before it was just plain and i put these in i sewed these in myself and put these pockets in this was one of my favorite dresses i can't wait to fit back into this oh my god so that's what i'm gonna do with this one this is as far back as you can fold it the sleeves just because if you fold it further then you see the, the lining in the inside and that's not attractive kind of cheat by just tucking tucking it in if i want to leave it open like this obviously i wouldn't just be wearing my bra i'd wear something quite lacy and you know sexy in there but for work we button and we put a belt i was inspired to buy this by the queen of spain because she has a really gorgeous black leather dress and it's actually from other stories it's high street as well so you know royalty was where's high street so don't be too bougie trying to rock only louis vuittons and only designers and you can't afford to pay your bills don't do that to yourself okay just just don't do it trying to keep up with the joneses and the joneses ain't even keeping up with themselves 
don't do that so yeah she was wearing this dress from and other stories it was about 250 pounds um and i went to go look for it and they didn't have it anymore it was out of stock it was sold out because obviously the queen was wearing it so everybody went and bought it um and this was a close second with a, a definitely a cheaper much cheaper price tag of 55 pounds from asos <laughs> I don't know where we're going sis, but wherever we're going, we're going in style. Yes, we are. <laughs> and the best thing about these gloves is that they are touchscreen sensitive, so I don't have to take them off to type or anything. I'll link them in the below. Next up is this jumper from H&M. If you are going out casually, going shopping, just going to go see your girlfriend, or even just staying at home, wanting to look cozy for Christmas, I love big over the top woolly jumpers just to keep you warm. Now they are a bit frumpy. If you're not careful, you could end up looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy, but you just need to know how to style it. Stretch out the neck a little bit. Last night I'd put my hair to one side with this kind of jumper. All right, yeah. How cute is that? So I've never really shopped at New Look. Um, this was gifted to me by New Look. I'm surprised at it. I didn't know they had it like that because this is actually really, really nice. Um, the only thing is it's a little short. I guess it's meant to be like a bit of a crop or you could wear it with more high-waisted um, trousers or maybe even a, I wouldn't wear them with these jeans just because it's a bit too elegant just to be wearing with plain jeans, but just for the purposes of showing you guys. I do like it, um, I especially, especially love the back, but uh, what I'm trying to tell you with the stomach bit, your stomach needs to be on flat, 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 flat to wear this, because when you put your hands up or when you move about, your stomach moves about. Unfortunately, my stomach ain't on flat, flat, but oh well. <laughs> well, this is what the back looks like. Um, I wouldn't wear it with this bra. It would have to be um, backless bras which you can get from Boohoo, Amazon, um, and other brands, but definitely check out Boohoo because they've got these, these kind of bras where they're not bras at all, it's just like sticky tape and they just hold your boobs up and that's it. You don't have to wear a bra or anything and they're really good. So yeah, I, I, I do love it though. I love the back, I love this. Um, I'd get rid of this, but I love how it falls. And it's very, very date night adjacent. Okay, so what I'm saying is you can really impress your bull with this. Sleeves aren't really sleeves, they're opened out, so it's cold outside, so you need to wear a coat, okay? Speaking of coats, see what I did there? See that segue? I'm not sure that this coat goes with this, this top. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Um, but nonetheless, this is what the coat looks like. It's very schoolgirl preppy kind of look, which is not how I thought it would look. It's quite thin, so it's not gonna be keeping you warm. It is a coat to look good and for autumn and milder winter days, but not for those heavy, rainy, cold days. And I got some boots for this outfit as well. This is what the boots look like. I really can't be bothered to put this on properly. So, we're just gonna put it over the trousers. I gotta be really honest with you guys, I really don't like leotards, just for the fact that they leave panty lines and if, for example, you were to stretch and your hands come up, then you can see the leotard over the top, especially if the leotard's a different color or it has this, like a, a dividing line, then you can see it when you're wearing, you know, wearing jeans that are low cut or something. So I'm not a fan of that, however. Um, let me get a jacket. So yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Ignore the fact that it's over the top, of course. I think that is literally all the stuff that I have. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot to say. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Do let me know what your favorite one was and why, and which brand do you think won? Battle of the High Streets. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye.